The American Turbine, created by American Offshore Energy, AOE, is the first wind turbine of its kind with a central shaft. The lightweight fiberglass foundation of the vertical access turbine makes it float like a hybrid between sailboat masts and bicycle wheels. The bearings and generator, two of the heaviest parts, are located on the outer rim, close to sea level, where surface speeds are high even at low revolutions per minute, doing away with the need for rolling bearings, gearboxes, and oil. The AOE design also uses far less steel than a standard wind turbine and doesn't necessitate forgings, castings, conventional generators, or AC-DC converters while operating at sea. Because of their reduced weight, these turbines might be produced and launched from locations that would be inaccessible to traditional floating turbines. They might be dragged and maintained by already operating boats that do not violate the Jones Act. The turbines could be manufactured in the U.S. without having to wait for components from other countries, since they could be constructed entirely of fabricated steel and fiberglass. The AOE CTO, Drew Devitt, said in a news release that this would aid manufacturers in deploying the turbines more rapidly and cheaply. The absence of oil in the turbines makes it possible to submerge them in the eye of a cyclone and wait out the storm there. The cost of financing and insurance might be drastically reduced as a result. In the aftermath of a storm, the turbines might be elevated by releasing compressed air cylinders and the fiberglass floats from afar. It would be easier to do routine maintenance at sea if service boats had their bearings and generator components on the deck, and if repair is required, the turbines may be disconnected and transported back to port in a day by Jones Act compliant tugs already in service. The advantages of the design include safeguards for vessels and marine wildlife. The vast vertical wing area is easily visible to birds and provides excellent horizontal radar reflection for seafaring purposes but little vertical reflection for airborne navigation. That's it for today, and as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and check our website at www.techwiki.co. Thanks for watching.